about a morning or two ago, the, wor the Lord said the word divine disruption, disruptions uh, are coming, are going to continue. Disruption is a disturbance, uh, an event, or a problem which interrupts an activity from its normal course or continuation. And it's usually a negative thing. Uh, the connotation uh, and the use is typically negative. Uh, a disturbance or a disruption um, is, is typically, you know, not a, a pleasant thing. Uh, just going about our daily activities. And, and this is really what the Lord was quickening to me. And it probably is already apparent to each of us both personally and nationally and globally. Uh, we're seeing disruptions, uh, naturally speaking, uh, you know, volcanoes, earthquakes, and so forth, uh, but disruptions in our lives, in our uh, daily living, uh, one after the other. Uh, of course, I've personally just gone through a, a hurricane, and that was a, a major disruption because there was a disruption in uh, electrical power. Uh, there was a d disruption in internet and communication and a disruption in the ability to get food and, and water and ice and basic services, really. Um, uh, medical people uh, were flooding the hospitals because uh, if they were relying on electricity for medical support, um, that was cut off suddenly. And so uh, I felt the Lord is, is indicating by the Spirit that we're in a time uh, we've entered into a period, a time, a, a, an era, really, of disruptions. So what are we going to do about that? And I always, when I, I get a word from the Lord, uh, look back through my journal in the words the Lord has spoken uh, to see what, what else He has been saying around that or uh, pertaining to that that maybe I didn't realize at the time. Uh, and one of the things that he definitely had been stressing uh, within the last two weeks was how important it is to be strong of spirit, to be strong in our spirit man. Um, and this was before any of, of the calamities that I've just recently been through or on the world stage uh, had occurred, uh, the recent ones anyway. Uh, but he said it's just so important, and we know this, to be strong in our spirit man so that we're not swayed uh, and easily uh, overcome by circumstances or disruptions when they occur. Um, so I, at the time, I, of course, it's praying in the spirit. If you have a, a, a prayer language, that builds up your spirit man. Uh, I recently made a video uh, about the joy of the Lord. Uh, it's time to enter into his joy. And we know that Nehemiah says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. There are two apostolic prayers in Ephesians that I pray, I love to pray. Ephesians 1, 19 says um, that I may know what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. Ephesians 3, 16, that he would grant us according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in our inner man. So the prayer is, Lord, may we be strengthened with power through your spirit, through the Holy Spirit in our inner man, in our inner man. May we be strengthened with power through your spirit in our inner man. Be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Ephesians 6.10. Be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Therefore, it says, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day. So if ever there was an evil day, this, this is an evil day. Then the Lord had reminded me of a word that he gave me back in April, and I don't think I had... Um, recorded a video about this because I really wasn't sure, you know, I didn't have a context, although the world stage and the 
corrections and judgments that are going on right now certainly are an indicator. But I heard the Lord say, and I'm going to butcher this, miny, miny, tickle, uh, many, many tickle. This is Daniel 5, and this is when Nebuchadnezzar, you talk about a disruption. This is Daniel 5, and it says, Belshazzar, who was the son of Nebuchadnezzar, the king, held a great feast for a thousand of his nobles. And he was drinking wine in the presence of a thousand. And he was tasting the wine and boasting about his kingdom. Uh, and then they brought the gold vessels out of the temple, the things that had been sacred and consecrated in the temple uh, of the Lord. And they were eating and drinking and drinking wine from these cups. And then suddenly, Daniel 5, verse 5 says, Suddenly, the fingers of a man's hand emerged. The hand of God emerged and wrote on the wall, Mining, mining, tickle. And that means, again, forgive my pronunciation. You have been, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Daniel prophesied and interpreted you have been weighed on the scales and found deficient. Your kingdom has been divided and given over to the Medes and the Persians. So it's in this time that the Lord is interrupting and disrupting the plans of the evil one. But in our own lives, we are going to find ourselves in situations where our lives are disrupted, uh, the course of our lives are disrupted, uh, the uh, course, maybe the, the direction that we're headed uh, might be disrupted, um, uh, basic uh, necessities of life, uh, we know it's been prophesied, will suffer great disruptions. So this is a time that the Lord would say, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Build up your spirit man so that in times of calamity, though you're protected, uh, though you won't suffer the, uh, the death and the destruction and the harm that will come to other people, uh, that a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. However, you'll be in the world. You'll be in uh, the, the vicinity and the circumstances um, when these things are happening. So be strong in the Lord. Be strong of spirit so that you can weather the storm. You can sustain that which is coming. So be aware that there's going to be one disruption after another. Things will never return to what we consider normal. And I know we're all trying to get back to that place, but the Spirit of God would say that place doesn't exist anymore. But guess what? A better place is there for us. So walk in the path that He has chosen for you, strengthened by the Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen.